It started a couple of hours before lunchtime. The, the food trucks outside these government buildings lined up for the first time in a couple of weeks. And for the first time in a couple of weeks, government workers, many of whom were at home, not getting paid, waiting to find out when they would be called into work, came and had their lunch out here. And the workers I talked to were very happy to be back at work. One woman said when she walked into her office, there were signs, her boss had brought treats, and she said she felt valued coming back and was really excited to get back to work. But at the same time, many people on both sides of the political spectrum are frustrated that this happened in the first place. Here's what some workers told me earlier today. I personally have lost a lot of confidence in our uh, elected officials. And uh, I don't see them as having to deal with the things that we have to deal with when the government shut down. Uh, so I, I don't feel that they have any uh, vested interest in, in getting it right. Uh, it's just disappointing. It's just disappointing, you know. So I, I think we should be able to work these things out. There's, you know, if you have a trillion dollar uh, budget you're working for, it seems like you have a trillion ways to solve it. And, you know, there is the sense that this could happen all over again. The current deal only funds the government into the new year, and many people I spoke to are worried that they could be furloughed again. Lindsay Demcombe, CBC News, Washington.